Okay guys, we just got in another project. It's a 2020 Wrangler. It's not gonna look like this when I'm done with it. I'm missing a lot of parts. Frame is shifted over to the driver's side also. Okay, what's up guys? We got the 2020 Wrangler over here. And I'm about to replace the oil pan on it to get it up and running. The oil pan has a hole in it. That's why it says no oil. The insurance company already checked that out. And as soon as I get it up and running, I can put it up on the frame machine so I can get all, all of the frames strained out. We got the new oil pan right here with the trans lines. And as soon as I get it up in there, I'll show you guys what's wrong with it. Okay guys, we got it up in the air, and let me show you what I'm about to replace. Well, I'm about to replace this oil pan right here, because of that hole right there. You can see it, and I pinched these trans lines also, so I'm replacing them. these trans lines that go all the way back here. All the way back there. Okay, so how this happened, I think from the accident, this right here. You can see how this is damaged up here. Might have to get this replaced too. Well, I didn't check that yet. From the accident, I guess it just hit too hard and it shifted over and just blew a hole around the side of the oil pan. Right there. All right. Okay, what's up guys? While I've been under here, I noticed that these are control arms are all damaged. This lower one, this upper one, and also this upper one and then i gotta make sure this is not damaged but doesn't look like it and this two right here you can see all this uh front suspension shifted over to the left side of the car driver's side and we're changing the shocks to the rubicon ones you can see it more this way shifted over to the left Okay guys, as you can see, I had oil, so I don't know why they wrote it didn't have oil, but I'm guessing they didn't want to start it, because it had a hole in the oil pan. But that's a good sign. I already spun the engine, made sure it's not seized, so we're all good. As soon as I replace the oil pan, we should be good.
Okay guys, I got the oil pan out. It was a lot of work. It wasn't like a gasket between them, it's like gasket maker, which stuck on there pretty good. Now all I have to do is clean this stuff up, put some new gasket maker on. And this is the old one. This is the lower piece that I'll be reusing. And that's the hole that I had right there. And some chunks came out of it. They're still in the oil pan. This was one of them. And this is the new one. I'll get this all prepped and cleaned. And see you in a minute.
Okay, what's up guys? We got the uh, oil pan in there. Uh, I think you guys seen me put it on, but the phone ran out of charge and you guys didn't see me screw it on. But all the bolts are on now. Everything's good. And now I'm about to hook up the trans lines, the new ones. and see if it starts. Okay, after I replace the oil filter and add some oil, that's oil filter. Now I add oil, the 020, five quarts. I'm gonna have to run uh, a hose to these trans lines it's from here to here just so when I start it the oil can circulate through and that should be it to start start it everything is looking good let's check for some leaks oh okay. all right we're all good everything is all good now we're ready to take it up on the frame to the next step to get the frame straightened out and the wheelbase straight. See how this wheel is pushed back a little bit, Probably a couple inches from the bank control arms. And we should be good after that. That's gonna be the next hardest part. All right, see you in part two. <laughs> 